All right, we're going to uh, Green Lane Reservoir. Ah, it's a nice ride on the back roads. This is this road is called Hill Road, H I L L, and we're approaching the entrance to Green Lane. You know you arrived when you see this big sign. You can't miss it. Speed limit 10 miles an hour down the hill. No launching of private boats. So you cannot bring your boat here and put it in the water. I believe they're afraid of the zebra mussels. So you could leave your boat here for 10 days. Quarantine and quarantine, and I believe to leave your boat here is a hundred dollars a year. Or you could, uh, sorry about the shakiness, or you could uh, rent a boat from them. Right now, the season's closed. Well, this is what you're gonna see when you come down. The season's closed, so there's not much action going on. Boat rental right here. Nice public bathrooms, pavilion. And even an outhouse. It's parked by the outhouse. Okay, let's see if we get some carp. No kayak fishing today. Lousy day. But we're gonna do something else. We're gonna do strictly carp fishing. That's all I got, got is carp bait. And I don't know if you've ever been here. This is Green Lane Reservoir by the dam. All right, let's speed this up. It is a little soggy after the rain, but with proper attire, you should be all right. Might get a little soggy here. Let me see, do I want to go that far? Nah. There is no need. Let's stay around here. A nice picnic basket here. There's the ranger boat. This is what it looks like. I made it to the lake. Now this is this is Green Lane. I'm fishing for carp. This is the actual Green Lane Reservoir. I just, uh, I was just in the office and there's a sign over there that they will open up April the 27th for boat rentals. I'll be posting the prices. Right now, I am fishing till sunset. Nobody here. Let's see if we catch a fish on this rod for the first time. There's my 
homemade carp bait. Okay. Put them back here. Because what you want with carp, you want this flat down. Not like for catfish. Get the first rod ready. This is very rocky. Oh god. I made this dough bait this morning. It's uh cornmeal flour, sugar, this place is very rocky, so I hope I don't get hung up. Okay, just a little split shot, throw it out there, and this is not a bait runner. So, I'll open this up all the way. The uh, drag is open all the way. And this one we're going to throw in that direction. This is a little smaller hook. Seems like it's holding pretty well. And let's see. This is my catfish mainly. I have carp. Mm, not ready for carp. This is for muskies. But I have a split shot here which I'm gonna use. I don't even know if I should use it. There is no swivel on this. Okay, I'll throw this in the opposite direction. Not the opposite, but another direction. This in the rod holder. Pick up a little. Love that sound. Let me get him. Get him away from my other line. Coming this way. So this rod is the one that's been catching all the fish. Come 
Oh, here it comes. That's how I lost the other ones. Okay. Hello. Hi. What's your name? Kim. And you're with? Let me see. Who are you with him? Yes. Oh my God. <laughs> Who is this guy? Oh, it's hey. you, John. Oh, okay. What are you doing here? Uh, I am taking your advice, going carp fishing. Nice, nice. Okay, let's uh, throw some more corn out. Do a little it, bit more chumming. Yeah, all right. Let's see what happens. We'll show you uh, guys when we catch one. <laughs> all right, we got a fisher. Just tighten it up. Okay, we only man. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. It's like being down the shore. Look at that. Gotta go around these rods. Oh they don't fall in here. <laughs> Let me see how this drag is. Oh yeah, good. Just leave like that. Let me see that. Let's get that off there. Okay, good. Yeah, you got him still? Keep the wrap tip up, keep his head up. Yeah. He's taking for a ride. <laughs> Okay. Uh, yeah, I think my leader. Okay. <laughs> Very good. Let me see. Hold on. Okay. And here's something you never do. Ah. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> and this is why you need a net. This is why you need a net. We lost the hook. Of him. Okay, well, I got the whole video, so. Aww. That was you know, Let's get another one. Let's get another one. Here, I thought John was going to take the rod away from Kim and say that's my fish, but he was only trying to help her. And here we tighten up the drag, make sure it's uh, not too loose. It's not too tight. She's doing a great job. She's bringing that fish in. I'm trying to tell her keep the rod, rod tip up, which keeps the uh, carp's head up so he don't get us stuck under the rocks. But she's got him. She's got him to the bank. Wow. Okay. Let's see if we learned anything from the previous time. Where I lost John's uh, fish. So John is looking for fish grips. Uh, he don't want mine. He wants to use his. It's not easy getting the fish grips into the carp's mouth. The carp's mouth is very small. Let's see how he handles this. Hey, he, oh, I thought he lost them. Okay, John, good job. Kim got her first carp. Now we got to take some pictures, of course. And this is uh, going to be like a uh, 
three person uh, effort. Kim's holding the fish. I'm taking the hook out. John, I think he's taking pictures, yep. It's a memorable time for Kim. I'm sure it's not going to be her last carp. I think she had fun. This is the proper way to hold it so it's not as heavy. I think she's got it. I can't wait to uh, fish with them again. That was fun. Uh, is John going to take a picture with the carp also? That wouldn't be fair. Oh, no. He's going to put him back. All right, John. Don't slip. Be careful. And there goes the carp into its happy home. Congratulations, Kim. I know. I caught two carp. One was a small one, so I didn't bother taking a picture. Then I caught a big one. I brought him to the bank. And the bank is sloping. I'm getting ready to get my camera. And he jumped in the water before I could take a picture. So, it's like, like I tell you, if you don't have a picture or a video, all you got is a story. I hope I catch another one. I'll be here for a while. Love that sound. Let me get him. Okay, first time on this rod, on the corn. I don't think he knows he's hooked yet. Finally got one. Yeah. It's a light rod. I think we're tangled up here. <clears throat> God damn it. Pop your ass. <laughs> I guess he don't fish. Where, where's, your, where's your fishing rod? Well, why would I need a net? You need a fishing rod. You don't need, I don't need a net. Good job, nice job. Congratulations here, bud. All right, man. That's what I fish for. Good color and all. Yeah. I fish your style. Got, whoop. <laughs> Got him on corn. Oh, yeah. Huh? Beautiful color. Oh yeah, yeah. All right, let's let him go. That's it. That's it. You're the guy that finally gets the meat. Everybody tells me that you're down here. For carp fishing, you see the kernels of corn, and you see the hook. You want to, the hook should only be so big that you could put on four or five kernels of corn and you want to cover that hook. Very small hook. Yeah, this is the Green Lane Reservoir. It's pretty much wooded, but that's where I'm sitting. 
They have trash cans for you. They have a grill. They have benches here. So you can look out and enjoy the scenery. This is my setup. Two fishing rods for carp. I got my bench here and my comfortable chair. Let's take a closer look at the office and the dock. This is the, the Rangers boat. No, uh, no electric, no gas-powered motors here. Just kayaks and electric rowboats, or what do you call those boats? Flat-bottom boats. I don't know. And here's the safety checklist. Like I said, the uh, the reservoir is not open yet for rental. Otherwise, it'd be a lot busier. And up ahead, it's the office. I don't think it's open anymore until the season starts. And here it is, the uh, boat rental fees. Let's take a look at the office. Uh -huh, there's a sign in here, no swimming in Green Lane Park. Uh, Green Lane, no rental to be open starting April 27th. Open Saturday and Sunday, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. See you soon. Okay. Signs all over the place, there's no swimming. You used to be able to go in this office and look at pictures of the fish that were caught here. And maybe a uh, when in April 27th, you'll be able to do that. So this is the way the thing looks like. It's uh, very rocky, so be prepared to lose your rigs. I am fishing for the dam. Where the marker buoys are, you can't take your boat past that. Come on out, take a look, it's nice. Are you kidding? Can you get any closer? Oh, you know what? I bet that what it is, they recognize me. I chum the area with corn. And they, they're going to die for the corn. Oh, no. Why? Go away. You got the whole leg. Go away. Here we go. Here we go. That's right, just eat my corn. I brought it for you. Well, if we catch a duck, I'm not going to show it to you. Somebody's going to report me that I'm fishing for ducks without a license.
I had some corn left over, so if you can't beat them, join them.